catastrophe at 11,600 years ago is still kind of undefined. There's been no, to my knowledge, evidence of any kind of extraterrestrial impact. However, there was a massive pulse of m melting that occurred. And so they, it's referred to as Meltwater Pulse 1B. Now there was a Meltwater Pulse 1A that is now dated at 14,600. And there's evidence now emerging that there was also a major melting event at the beginning of the Younger Dryas. But it was so quick before the planet jumped back into full glacial cold that it's kind of been overlooked. So anyways, what's interesting about Meltwater Pulse 1B, that's 11,600 years ago. Now that is now given as the definition between the Pleistocene, which was two and a, two and a half million years, which was differentiated from the previous Pliocene because in the Pleistocene epoch, what characterizes this epoch is the planet started lurching back and forth between the glacial and interglacial ages. At the end of the Pleistocene, we get into the Holocene. Holocene is now, the onset of the Holocene is dated 11,600 years ago. And shortly within a millennia to two millennia after that is when we begin to see the rise of what eventually led to modern civilization. The question is, is what caused these tremendous sea level rises?